Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue our Russian Empire campaign in the Tsar, in the name of the Tsar mod for Hoi 4. So, uh, obviously this world looks a little different. Uh, I've not changed Asia very much at all, except I took the Kareil Islands, because that should be properly Russian instead of Japanese. Uh, regardless, let's focus on some of the territorial changes that has happened since then. Uh, someone said, you should give Schleswig Holstein to Denmark. I'm like, you know, that's an okay thought. And actually, it would make sense, because Hamburg's part of that now. But I'm not going to give it to somebody who's not involved in a war. I'm going to hold that and be consistent with that, because uh, I'm doing the same thing with Greece. I won't give Greece any part of territory from the Turks, or the Ottoman Empire, or the Ottoman Confederacy, actually, until they're actually part of my country, in which Albania will be probably dismantled and been mostly reunited under Yugoslavia, which we do have Yugoslavia here, under Alexander I. And I did look, uh, let's see, oh, let's see, of this, Vorarlberg was given to Switzerland, they obviously wanted to be here, and actually they, that should be a core of them. Good. Uh, let's see, disempowered the Huns, they, since the Romanian-Hungarian War, Romania has been quelling and hammering for some more territory, so I gave them outflowed this severely uh, disempowers the Hungarians so that they would never come back and try to attack anybody else again. Uh, of course, there will probably be riots here in Alfred, but for now, this is okay, because I took quite a chunk of territory from Romania and gave Dobru Dobruja to Bulgaria. Uh, also, Bergenland in Hungary. Uh, I'm thinking that I will give this to Austria once we're done, but only after Austria is properly uh, properly aligned. However, I kept Slovenia to Austria because Austria is a puppet of Italy, and Italy would not like to see the Croatians, or I guess at this point, the Yugoslavians, uh, become more powerful. So they decided to keep Slovenia as a part of Austria instead of taking it for themselves, just because it's been ruled for a thousand years. What's, what's another 10, 15 years before they take out Yugoslavia? Uh, the Slovenians are pretty much accustomed to the Austrian rules, so we'll keep it there. And I also dig chat, there's no such thing as the Union of South, uh, Southern Germany or Union of uh, South German Union or anything like that. All it is is like German Empire and the Kingdom of Bavaria. The Kingdom of Bavaria is also known as the uh, Communists or something like the Marxists. So, I mean, this was united earlier, but it's either I give it to Bavaria or Germany, or keep it independent. At this point, I'm just going to keep them independent, because there's no South German Union. That'd be kind of cool. And also, I did fix this. Confederation of the Rhine here is le is actually now a puppet of France. So now they have both Baden-Württemberg, Baden Confederation of the Rhine is puppets, as well as Spain, and the UK did take the did take Mallorca. Uh, this is all owned by the British. That's Bavarian. And, yeah, we're going to focus on the Greeks this time. And we'll definitely disempower the Turks, because they were a huge thorn in our side in the Great War. And the Greeks, well, we'll, we'll compensate them for not giving them Zagrad. And, yeah, and that's pretty much it. So, let us continue. Um, did anything change? Anything happen? We do want to go to war with the Czechs. So, we are doing a war justification for them. That'll take 72 or more. So, guys, oh, renaming Istanbul. I love this event title. But the description is a little lacking. Rename dot three forty one dot desk. Rename it. Leave it as it is. Right now it's called Constantinople. Uh Yes. Okay, so I just chose that I didn't think that it would go badly, but it we're now in owning or ownership of Zagreb. Very good. So we're gonna give it a little bit of time before we go to uh, invade Czechia. How long will this take to invade? Oh, excuse me, guys. It only takes 125 days. Yeah, as soon as we get more political power, we'll also justify on the Greeks. So we need about 10 more political power. That's fine with me for any sort of allies to try to declare war on us. Go ahead and shuffle yourselves around, guys. Also, uh, yeah, they come from their non-aggression pack. That's fine with me. Don't really care. I have told most of my soldiers, if not all of them, in this army to become 40 with divisions. So these guys were already 40 with under... Sergei W. This guy is trying to get more uh, supplies 
our equipment into his divisions. Especially, oh, I guess more manpower, actually. We're, just, we're at 100% supply, but we're out of manpower for that. But something tells me we'll be okay. No, we're at war propaganda. Uh, actually, can I justify on the Greeks? Don't worry, Greeks. In the end, you're going to be a little bit bigger. Cash will cancel the non-aggression pact. And I did release the kingdom of Syria, led by Ghazi bin Faisal. We do want to take out the Ottomans, or the, not the, we already took out the Ottomans. We do want to take out Iraq eventually. Did I miss anybody? Uh, they were led by Boris III. Albania is led by King Zog, for now. Uh, Slovakia. Siam joined the Allies because Japan declared war on Siam. Okay. Austria is led by Otto Kirchner. Uh, I don't think there's really too much of a change. Western African Union, of course, is still here. It makes sense for France to combine all their colonies into one major African colony. Uh, anything else? Let's see. Japan is getting beaten a little bit. Or at least they were getting beaten by the Allies here. But since I am joining the war... Now they're fighting the Chinese and Japanese. That, that'll be interesting. Japan is actually running out of manpower. So I assume they're going to use their Chinese manpower and just give those Chinese soldiers Japanese guns and whatnot. Completely fleet and being good. Let's see. We want... Carrier effort. We want, I guess... Better carriers and then battleships. So let's do that. Ooh, new tanks. Very good. Tank divisions shall go with him, Boris. We do want to go to war and invade using our tanks. You will have to be very gung ho about this, Boris. I am still using a few cavalry divisions in here as well as uh, motorized. But at least these motorized are 40 width, even though I should probably research rocket, motorized rocket artillery. So that'll be our goal to do that. Oh, and I guess I had these divisions over here because they were uh, kind of taking up too much supply. Good, better radar. 1943, of course. Let's see, better efficiency cap and growth or retention. Uh, let's get cap and growth. Let's do that. And we're building some forts here in... Persia, as well as Afghanistan, just in case the Allies might get a little crazy with attacks. Let's go ahead and try to increase some, or build some, radar stations. Oh yes, this would be good to do it in Zagreb. Uh, the east definitely would need some as well. Sure, we'll put it all around here. Uh, for sure, near Iraq, and Crimea, here, oh definitely in the Isle of Island Islands, I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm probably wrong, but that's okay. And I guess around Germany, in our occupation of rightful Polish clay. Alright, cool. Now, how many more days do we have? Oh, battlefield concentration. Nice. We're more than halfway done. We're waiting for our justification. Oh, carrier sort of sortie efficiency. Eh, I don't really actually have any carriers. Got ten battleships, though. So there is that. Five, four... Really? Ah, uh, I still caught Istanbul in the naval port, but it's really sorry, Grad. I'm surprised it doesn't have level 10 uh, dockyard strength, but I guess that's the name of the game. Hopefully, when I go to war with these guys, they will not join the Allies. Uh, sparking World War III, not a great idea. But, you know, it's not my choice if Czechia joins. Czechia. Czechia joins the Allies. Bohemia. Yeah, you know what I mean. And I also gave them back some of their territory from. Austria. Right. How many more days we have to wait for Greece? Because once we're done with Czechia or Bohemia, we'll send our tanks down to invade as well. Probably through Thrace and Kavala. Oh, we also have some things here too. Let's see. Coastal Defense Divisions looking pretty good. King of Syria is looking pretty good. Cyprus is already Greek. Dispersed Industry 5 is done. Uh, do we have any deficits? A little bit of a deficit of a tungsten. Infantry, lightning, land, night attack. Uh, yeah, let's get some Kayusha. Kayusha. Multiple rocket launchers on trucks. Let's start re researching some of those. Oh, the land ports are done. Good. And now we can conquer the eastern Sudetenland from these foes. Boris, you have the go ahead. Please, make this a very quick war. 
pretty good. They should be able to move in fairly quickly. There's like no divisions guarding, except maybe in the Sundetan land, but other than that, Praha is ours. Very nice. And I've encountered some resistance, and they capitulated. Pretty good, I'd have to say. Pretty fast. Uh, any day now, we'll get the peace conference. Good, yeah. They've suffered 18,000 casualties, while we suffered a total of 4,000 amongst all of our divisions. Uh, take all states. Good. Now I can send you guys down to Greece, and uh, we'll have a super great time. We'll go around there, we'll cut off the race from everyone else, and we'll try to blitz our way right into there. Alright, the Russian Empire has an oblast here, a very large oblast. Uh, let's see, this is... I'm not sure why Slovakia had that as a territory. Chichia, Osterreich... Alright. Chechia. Uh, for now, we'll just release Chechia, like that. Oh, and I guess this is... I guess they don't have a claim on this? I released them, but... For now, I will give this back to Austria. Or, I'll give this back to Bohemia. And when we eventually go to war with the Austrians, maybe I'll return the forest region to Austria, because that is a very strong claim they have on that region. So, Prague, led by Max Lubkowitz. Pretty normal. Now I can actually rearrange this front line. Uh, yeah. Against just that, no, 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 no. Let's see. We've got to rearrange this entire thing. Magdeburg. Now this is looking like a very good uh, defensive position using the mountains and hills around Bohemia. Oh, wait. I own Hungary. And Yugoslavia. Good. That should be a little bit better. Subsidiary carrier roll. Good. Uh, destroyer, light cruiser, efficiency, destroyer, submarines. Yeah, let's do that. 38 days, that's pretty good. Uh, anything else here? Anything else? No. Good. We're looking pretty good here. Carrier efforts. State run cinema. Looks like the Italians are really guarding the border. Very, like a lot. Like, it's mostly Italians. A few Bavarians. A lot of Italians. Yeah, Italy is really defending the border very well. And we now question Greek sovereignty. Greece, you shall either be with us or against us. Calls for wars against Greece. Um, sounding good so far. Just don't join the Allies. How many more days do we have left? We have less than 40 days. We have a carrier effort focus done. Let's focus on the battleships next. Ooh. Oh, and yeah, I guess another tank division. Tanks always come in handy. So anyone I would have to replace? Partial mobilization. Can't go under war economy. That's all right. Rebuilding. More dockyards in the Crimea and Petrograd. A lot of civilian factories. Alright. Do we need anything? More medium tanks, but we could always use more medium tanks. Uh, a lot of planes, actually, would sound like a really good idea. Infantry equipment fighters are doing better. That's good. We're getting more battleships. Nice. Oh, we definitely need more naval bombers. Let's focus on that first. And I suppose we can just do 15 of those first. So. Anywhere that has good infrastructure, please. Please send up. There's 50 at least. Um, that. And I guess we'll just fill out the rest of this area. Very far away from the front lines. And Moscow, you get it first because you got really good infrastructure. And it'll be done fairly quickly. Happy 1944, everyone! Happy, happy 1944! Alright, very good. Very, very good. No supply issues. Let's see. Regarding this, let us add more bombers to our, to our tank divisions. And a few more, uh, you know what? A few more bombers as well. Oh. What is this? Tactical bombers. Tactical bombers. To you. Fighters, fighters. I need to get rid of a lot of these fighters. These garbage fighters. Yeah. You. Well, join that group up there in the north. 
All right, so we're making two lines of battleships, two line and a line of cruisers. I want to make more subs, but level two I just don't think is good enough. So let's make another line of light cruisers and really fill out that group there. Communists, fascists, volunteer only. Yeah, I don't want to hurt my training time yet. Naval doctrine is good. Electronics concern time. Weapons, da da da, d, d, d. armor. Yeah, I think we're doing pretty darn well here regardless. Not really sure what to do with my political power now. Uh, warp up again. I literally don't even need that. We can do this. Group worker conditions. We get less output and less consumer goods, but we get more weekly stability. I do need to recruit more um, generals, though. We'll need to do that. You, Mr. Alexander Kolchak, never heard of you before. Never, ever heard of you before. You'll be doing this. Good garrisoning. And while we are waiting for the justification against Greece to finish, let's get rid of some of these because I am going to deploy a lot of planes, hopefully, in the Mediterranean. Air support, I don't use those. Naval bombers is fine. Uh, let's see. Fine. High replacement level, whatever. Alright, you guys. We should have... Yeah, that's good. Just use whatever fighters we have at the moment. Having fighters is good. Good, good, good. And actually, increase yourself to a 400. You, though, will come down here. You will go here. You will go here. I'm going to transfer you to over here. And then you shall come here and do the Eastern Mediterranean. All right. Now we should be good and ready to go. Greece, I hope you're getting kind of scared. Actually, we want to buy up Greece a little bit more. Good. Oh, what is this? Kingdom of Hungary is justifying against us. Hungary, you really don't want to do that. Establish order in Bulgaria. Assassinate Otto von Habsburg. Uh, they get a puppet focus against Sardom of Bulgaria. If you do that, uh, I will literally just divide you up between... If Hungary goes to war against Bulgaria, which makes no sense because they have absolutely no border way to get over there, uh, I would probably divide the rest of Hungary up between Slovakia and Yugoslavia. Or Slovakia. I don't know. Something like that. So let's go ahead and go to war. Should be able to do fine here. Not really concerned too much about this, but you know what? You never know. Good. Hopefully they don't join the Allies or anything like that. Ah, oh, goodies. Now, Bulgaria has some claims here. What I'm going to do is give some of Thrace to Bulgaria, probably, and maybe even Kabala. Uh, Central Macedonia, I think I'll keep with Greece. I'll give divide up Albania and give some territory of Turkey to Greece to compensate for the, la the loss of Thrace and Kabala. Thessalonica should probably remain Greek. So. Now, can you just go down to Athens? You probably will encounter yeah, a little bit of a resistance. <coughs> Good. Good. Athens has fallen. Much like the country itself. I'm surprised the Allies were completely distracted by what was going on here. But that's okay. So, with that in mind, we're not ending the episode yet. Albania shall now be divided between Yugoslavia. And it was an Albanian temporary state. Transfer this to me. And we shall liberate... Greece. However, they will claim back all this area, which is really stupid. So give me this back. Stupid Greeks. You think you own the place? We shall divide up Thrace. We give them to the Bulgarians. Kavala shall be given to the Bulgarians as well. Central Macedonia seems fine. Uh, they have the islands. Good. We shall give them Izmir City because that is directly connected to their area there. And you know what? We're going to port for them. Uh, let's see. Izmir... That's a coastal province. That should be given to them. And Antalya. Versa. How about... Yeah, Antalya. If that looks okay to you, please let me know in the comments below. This way, Bulgaria has access to the Black and Mediterranean Seas. Uh, Greece has expanded and lost territory, but they've definitely expanded down here. If, what would happen if I give them Bursa? Does that look any better? 
That might look a little better. And that would... Hmm. I kind of like that. If, yeah, just leave me... Let me know in the comments below whether you think this looks okay or not. Um, this is too much territory. Please let me know. Like I said, this is kind of nice how Tsargrad is kind of bordering Greece and then Turkey. So, ultimately, the Ottomans should have never gone to war with us in the Great War. And the Greeks, again led by Ionis, they eventually came out stronger on top. So, good for them. Uh, and you know what? Just in case you guys get a little crazy here, hungry, which I doubt you'll do anything about. I'm going to station some soldiers on the outside of your border. Now, I've got a spare soldier here. Spare army. Actually. Oh, you guys are ready to go against the allies. You, however... Hmm. What shall we do against Iraq? Ah, since, since we're already here, having a good time, maybe we'll justify against the Iraqi people. See what happens with that. Good, so at least we have Sargrad and the, all of Eastern Europe and a good chunk of Asia is under Russian control. Right. So Iraq secured, we can secure more oil and more influence in the Middle East. Uh, let's see, you. Let me, let me see what's going on here. So, you are not led by anybody, but you're guarding against the Iraqi people. You need. Ah, oh, Viktor Vrusilov. 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 So, you'll do that. You, Sergei Markov, who's been a phenomenal general for quite a while. Ooh, battleship effort is done. Where shall I, sh where shall I station you? Ah, I know where to go. State of Xinjiang. Just because the war in Asia for us ended a few years ago doesn't mean the war or wars cannot continue to establish more of a dominant role. That's the cruiser efforts. Sure. Sounds good to me. And now we must expand our coastal defense because... Ooh, not, please not my turn. We have many, many ports here in the Mediterranean that must be safeguarded. Oh, there's... Yeah, I need something against this as well. Uh, yes, Vyar, Thessaloniki, Thessalonica, Thessaloniki. Ah, uh, sure, Crete, I suppose, Izmir. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Pretty good. Um, I need an army for that. Let me tell you guys to do this. You know what? That's all right. You defend against Dalmatia. Very good. Very, very good. Ah. Uh, in Bulgaria. Austria, what are you focusing on? Army training. Germany is doing increased taxes. Well, we'll see how, how that happens, how that works. Got Mittuns. Expansionist policy. They can't really do anything except northern claims. Uh, what, what about these German, minor German states? Develop rural regions. They have done Christian military advisors, but they can't join the Berlin Pact because they have to be fully independent. All right. Ah, yes, motorized rocket artillery, good. Mm. Air power, yeah, we should focus on some air, better better planes with some. Pretty darn nice at this point. What is the Confederation of the Rhine doing? Army efforts, they have not chosen anything after the Civil War. Up there with that focus. Bavaria, uh, has gone through quite a few turbulent roles, places. Complete reunification. They were started off as under the German Empire, then they had a socialist re Marxist revolution, and now they're back to the kingdom. Kind of interesting. And then Baden or Württemberg plan our defense, and they also have not chosen anything from the rest of that. Now, do any of the allies have a focus to strike strike the Reich? No, strike the Tsar. Tsar under Empire. Abandon France, reinforce flat. Protect Belgium, they have to be at peace. Ah, protect Netherlands, defend the Greeks. Ah, good. I'm glad that's locked behind a focus, which they could not do anything about that. Plan in Asia, keep a firm hand. Loosen the grip, decolonization, secure Iraqi oil fields. Yeah, war with the Turks. Interesting. Oh, yes, more tanks. Very good. Also, uh, I forgot to post this. Let's start making some more of this. Looks like we need some more rubber. Rubber and aluminum, actually. Hmm. Hungary. Yugoslavia. I'll get it from Yugoslavia. A rubber from... Oh, angered by Iraqi posturing. Romania. Wow, Malaya has so much rubber. 
Uh, Japanese Empire, the UK. Yeah, I'll go. We'll trade with the Netherlands just because they're fairly peaceful with us. And let's see, motorized. Give our motorized a little bit more of a punch. Ooh, nuclear reactor is very good. So also way lower our defense, but give us a little bit more soft attack. Let's just remove that. 40. I think you just you trade these out just like you do with normal 7. So let's trade 38. That's 4. Hmm. How big is this combat width? 3. It's 14, 4. So 10, 11, 12. 12, and then 5 makes 39. Oh, maybe I should just go back to motorized. Yeah, there we go. 40 width, soft attack, it's okay, but we'll get some, we'll definitely get some upgrades here. Let's see, good, uh, ooh, better, uh, uh, reduced ahead of time penalty, nice. Ah, uh, you know what, I, our scientists are going to begin working on this thing called a, like, bomb, some sort of special bomb. I don't know what it does, but I heard it's very destructive, or it could be very destructive since it's not been made yet, but, uh, if it's powerful enough, maybe we should call... It's the, the Tsar Bomb. Just because, you know, the Tsar is so powerful, and if we can create a bomb that powerful, I mean, who would object to Russian ideals? Well, the Tsar Bomb. Never heard of that before. Alright. Let's see. Oh, we just had two more factories. Nice. Uh, yeah, not much is going on at the moment. We just have to wait for our justification against Iraq to finish. It's more than three quarters of the way there. And then maybe we'll strike into Saudi Arabia. Just because we're, we're running out of targets to a degree. That's not with the Allies or in the Berlin Pact that I can really strike. I mean, I still want to stay to Xinjiang. Maybe Tibet. Open up a larger border with against them. How is this war actually going? Like, the current war, the, the China-British war? I don't know why it's called China-British, but... Ooh. The Allies. I think the Japanese Navy has mostly been sunk at this point, if I remember. That's Siam, but J Japan, they have 38 ships. British India has zero. Ooh, streamline line, very good. The UK has 55. Western African Union has none. Italy has 65. France has 38. They completely outclass my ships at the moment, but that's okay. That's pretty much to be expected. Let's get some better uh, bombers as well. Promises of peace, good. Still getting more stability every week, which is great. And now we can go ahead and go to war with Iraq. If this war continues between the British and the Japanese, I'm probably going to have to declare war on the Allies. Especially before, or if, the United States might get involved. I hope they don't. I don't think, I don't know why they would, but, you know, you never know. What's, what's the United States currently up to? We're really led by, we have a cruiser effort. They're currently led by conservative Alf Landon. They're doing educational reforms. They're defending democracy. Uh, do the giant wakes. I, they're still on an isolationist policy. That's very interesting. Uh, they went under massive slow doctrine. Wow. Quantity over quality. They must have a crap ton of, of power, like manpower. Oh, and they can't, this is locked. They have to remove isolationist policy first before they can do anything else. Which is why they've been very, very quiet, which means we need to move very quickly according to my espionage units. All right. Name Alaska. So let's see if we did that. Let's finish up our air doctrine and whatnot. Good, how are these divisions? We've taken Baghdad. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, factories go up and down all the time. What is the situation? Like 12,000 losses versus 5,000? We're actually not doing that great right now. Go figure. But that's alright. With a little under 2 million manpower, I'm not too concerned about it. The Ottomans just took all that. Ottomans, no. That's not what you're supposed to do. Okay, I, apparently I'm already out of the war, and they took all of that. Yeah, no. So we're going to do this. We're going to mark that state, we're going to mark that state, we're going to mark Mosul, and this. Transfer to me. Good. And, like I said earlier, we want more influence in Asia. So let's go ahead, manage occupied territories. We're going to release Iraq as an independent country, firmly under the Tsar's rule, led by Ghazi I. So, with this episode, we're going to end this here. <clears throat>
We've done a few minor things. We've taken, we've gotten rid of this country called Albania, fully integrated into Yugoslavia now. Greece has been taken out and re-established with, which, uh, honestly, I would kind of prefer this type of Greece just because, hey, you go to war and you end up being more powerful. I like that. We've weakened the Ottomans. We've taken out Iraq. Oh, and actually, we need to readjust this guy's line. And we've figured out what the United States is up to. Yeah, the Allies are really, really busy here in Asia. So we're going to try to take out as, more states, as many states as possible before we go to war with the Allies, because I want Rome. That is our goal. That's our eventual goal. goal, And that which will happen eventually once I can develop a lot more naval bombers. So thank you guys very much for watching. Please leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow with more gameplay. Thank you for watching.